for those of you who worked for Quiznos right around 2006, I'm about to bring back one of your worst nightmares. This is a Muzak Encompass XD background, or some would call it a foreground music player. It is a simple unit, almost uh, about the size of two CD-ROM drives stacked on top of each other. Maybe a little bit longer than that. And this unit came with uh, special discs that made background music an absolute horror for those who had to listen to these songs over and over again. So how do I know this came from Quiznos? Well, the CD that comes with it, or that came with it, happens to say Quiznos on it. And you can see it there around the little rainbow there of color. It says Quiznos 0906 program for use in the USA only. So um, Muzak again, uh, the company who brought us elevator music for many years, and uh, you'll see a couple references to them on my channel and strange pieces of equipment that they came out with. So what's on this disc? Let's uh, let's take a peek. I'm gonna go ahead and put it into my laptop here. This is my Latitude E4300. It's an older laptop, but uh, running Windows 8 64-bit on a uh, on a flash drive. So let's go to view here, give you some large icons. So this is what's on the disk itself. A bunch of MPA files, which uh, stands for MPEG audio. And uh, apparently they're not playable on a PC, even with a, a very universal media player like VLC player. But um, in any case, I would imagine they're probably encrypted somehow with some kind of copyright protection. Maybe a encryption code that only this unit over here can decode. So let's uh, let's put the disc in and bring back the nightmare for some of you. I'm only going to play a few seconds of the first song. That way uh, I don't get in trouble for copyright infringement. So let's go ahead and pop the uh, CD-ROM. Actually, it's a DVD-ROM drive here. So I'm not sure if this is a DVD or a... CD, it looks like a blank CD to me. It could be a DVD. So let's pop that in. And like I said, I'll play a little bit. There's a little, tiny little display on the front here, as you can see. It tells you the name of the song and uh, the program that it was designed for. So it'll say Quiznos up on the screen. The song just kind of fades out in the background. So, of course, that was a Sheryl Crow song, and uh, encrypted here on this disc. So, what's inside this thing? Well, on the outside, next to it, is this power supply, and uh, it's actually got the um, the backing of Terminator 2 because it's got Skynet written on it. So, apparently, this power supply is self-aware. There's its own little green eye staring out at the at the world right there. So yes, yeah, Skynet. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you'll have to check out the movie. So uh, let's see what makes this thing tick. On the back, of course, you have the um, power supply hooks in right there, and it has a DIN type connector on it plugs in there and it supplies 5 volts and 12 volt power and it's got uh, two sets of audio outputs on the back although I've only been able to get one and two to actually produce any audio. Um, breaking the seal voids the warranty so I'm really upset that I have voided my own warranty just to make this video but hey you know who is going to uh, provide me service anyway right? So here's what's inside, just basically a, a circuit board with some uh, capacitors on it and some chips and a backup battery, I guess, for the date and time. 
Got uh, audio being handled here by analog devices. And the DVD-ROM drive being an IDE standard DVD-ROM drive. There, we look underneath this ribbon cable here and see if there's anything else interesting. It's probably like the CPU is uh, here on this wire. Looks like a Motorola chip of some sort and another little chip there. Like I said, some nice uh, sealed capacitors there. So you got your interface over here with the LCD display. What does that say? Handtronics. There it is. Handtronics. So a um, little more up with the times, I guess, was this uh, particular unit compared to other things that I've demonstrated on my channel, which was uh, they had a cassette-based system that ran at 15 sixteenths inches per second, and they also had a um, Fidelipak, a big eight-track type cartridge tape that uh, they put music on as well. These uh, are found fairly cheaply on eBay, so if you just want something to pump some music on in the background and you're apartment or a bedroom, living room, buy one of these and hook it up to your stereo system and hopefully it comes with a CD. If it doesn't, then there's not going to be a lot you can do. Um, I looked on some forums online and apparently there's a way to make it play regular CDs, but I haven't attempted that. It said something about dip switches and I didn't really see any in there. Maybe you did just now. But um, this one only came with one CD. That's the one I showed you minute ago so um, but this may have you know like you know 24 hours of music on it or something who knows haven't uh, haven't timed it out just yet but uh, anyway I hope you uh, find this interesting it's just kind of like an iPod that works off of the DVD ROM or CD ROM discs and has the lovely Muzak logo on the front and again for those of you who work for Quiznos you know what this machine is, and uh, from what I read online, some people really hated the music that these things would play. I don't know if it was a bad selection or what the deal was, because it certainly isn't elevator music. It's pop music, but oh well. Well, thank you for watching. Uh, share this with a friend who might work at Quiznos or have worked at Quiznos around 2006. And uh, subscribe to my channel. Check it out. You'll find more Muzak-related stuff on there. And um, leave a comment. Thanks for watching.